A study showed the average person wastes 21.8 hours every week doing low-value activities. That's two days of awake time doing a whole lot of nothing every single week, which amounts to roughly 100 days each year of poorly invested time. And it's the same with poorly invested money. The average American wastes $18,000 each year, but no more. In this video, we'll show you exactly how we invest our time and money from three perspectives, short, medium, and long-term. So grab a pen and a notebook. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Let's talk about money first, in the short term. In this case, short term means you see the effect instantly. You invest the money now and get the return on the same day. Your investment strategy here is acquiring tools that give you leverage. In our case, for example, one of our short-term money investments was a deal with a development company. This made sure that our Alux app got all the love and care it needed to be the best product we could possibly deliver. Now, the important thing to note here is leverage. You could also buy a jacuzzi and use it right away, but that doesn't give you any leverage, unless you're a jacuzzi reviewer on YouTube or something. Just imagine for a second that you're a blacksmith. The forge you use every day is the leverage point. A better forge results in better products. You buy a state-of-the-art forge and you reap the benefits instantly. Your budget doesn't matter here. You make do with what you have. What's important is to identify the tools you need to build leverage and don't be afraid to invest in them. For example, if you're a wedding photographer, that tool could be a drone. You use it every time it expands your scope of services and it'll probably pay for itself after one or two bookings. Your short-term money investment doesn't have a recurring date. It can happen every month or once a year. The important thing is, one, you get to use it instantly, and two, it builds leverage. Now, if you've been watching us for a while, you might be guessing the strategy here. It's your personal education. By medium term, we mean it takes anywhere between six months and five years to acquire and assimilate. We're talking about courses, mentorships, books, internships and apprenticeships and so on. Anything that teaches you how to actually do something is worth investing in. This will provide the biggest return for your money, regardless of if you have $500 or 50K. You should always have a dedicated budget for this and actually use it. You can't go wrong with this kind of investment. Nobody can take away your skills. So make a list of five education investments that you can acquire this year, which you can use for the next five years. Build up expertise and expand your network. If there's an event happening and you might learn something valuable or meet someone important for your business, then buy the ticket. If there's a book that might give you some new insight, buy the book. If someone made a course on how to do a particular thing and you need it, enroll in that program. Earlier this year, we paid for a 30-minute talk with a big name from YouTube just to get a fresh perspective on creating content. Now, these types of things will always be valuable. Even if you don't learn something new, you can still get the confirmation that you're on the right path. And even if it turns out to be a complete waste of time, that's just how the process works. A couple of months ago, we went to a two-day conference, which turned out to be a waste of time for our particular interest. But hey, that's the cost of learning. We at least got to hang out with some cool people. Now, on to money in the long term. For your long-term strategy, your keyword is compounding. By long-term, we mean 10 years plus minimum. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is actually the easiest and most straightforward way of investing. We actually made a video on why Warren Buffett thinks literally monkeys are better investors than you. There is no timing the market, there's no mathematical formula, nothing like that. All you have to do is invest in good, healthy businesses and forget about it. Let time do its thing. Now, we're not financial advisors, and this is not financial advice, but the recession is coming and people will panic and lose money. 
When there's blood on the streets, meaning the markets are red, that's when the rich go hunting since everything will be at a discount. One way to protect yourself from the upcoming volatility is with blue chip art, since it's one of the highest performing alternative assets. But granted, not everyone can just show up at the Louvre in Paris and buy a bunch of paintings. And that's where our friends at Masterworks come in. We mentioned them in the past and they reached out to sponsor today's video. Masterworks is an easy to use investment platform that's allowed over 500,000 users to discover the potential of this exclusive wealth generating asset. Since inception, their team of art market experts has delivered an average 29% net return to their investors. And with this decade of lost returns wreaking havoc, demand for Masterworks is exploding. But Masterworks is giving you priority access to skip the line. Just go to masterworks.art slash alux or click the link in the description to get set up. First up, let's talk about time. Most of you watching this video are time billionaires, meaning you've got more than 1 billion seconds left to live or 31 years. Most paper billionaires would gladly trade places with a time billionaire. Think about it. Do you think Warren Buffett would rather have some extra billion dollars or a billion seconds left? So with this strategic resource at your disposal, how can you make the most of it and how can you invest it wisely? Well, we'll tell you how we do it. Now let's talk about time for the short term. Your short term investment strategy for time revolves around daily inputs. We made a dedicated video last week about daily inputs and you guys loved it. In short, inputs are a special kind of work designed to push you further. They are binary, meaning you either did them or you didn't. Like we said in our dedicated video, if you are a content creator, you can't kinda publish a piece of content. You either did it or you didn't. They're based on a clearly defined process. If you wake up one day and you don't know what to work on, you are lacking a process, a particular way of doing things. A construction worker doesn't build a house by wondering where to start with the first step. The process is always clear. They have a clearly defined purpose. You're not just doing it for the sake of doing it. Also, these aren't activities you have to do anyways. Taking a shower is not an input, it's a given. At least it should be. And they happen daily. Most importantly, these inputs happen every single day, whether you're in the mood for them or not. These inputs get repetitive, but they need to happen. A person who gets ahead doesn't do so by magic and talent. They do it by doing the repetitive work consistently. And look, laying brick on top of brick is not always fun. But if you want a solid wall, you can't really skip a brick here and there and leave holes in it. This is your short-term time investment. Aim for three inputs that tackle different areas of your life, from work to health and relationships. These are unrelated activities that you have to do. Just remember, going to work is not an input. Reading 20 pages every day on how to get better at what you do is. This framework forces you to add value to your life instead of pretending to be busy for the sake of it. We suggest you watch our previous video for a full breakdown. We'll link to it in the description. So your short-term investing strategy for your time is daily inputs. For the medium term, you will need to invest in experience. Medium term means one to five years. So why five years max? Well, because that's usually when the world will go through a major shift. New technologies will be developed, new ways of doing things get theory crafted, new industries emerge. Right now, we're going through the stage where humans, machines, and algorithms learn how to work together. As a matter of fact, the World Economic Forum predicts the great relearning evolution. More than half of all humans on the planet will have to retrain or upskill in the coming years. Now, to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, Africa trains drone pilots to deliver medicine to inaccessible places. So your medium term investment strategy for your time is experience. You need to get involved and learn how the new world works. Get familiar with all the changes. 
figure out where you will get into these new circumstances and if you need to shift your path or not. You want to be ahead of this curve. When the rest of the world finally catches up with what's happening, you want to be the experienced one. Now, there's already a huge shortage of people experienced with the new ways of doing things. All these new industries need bright-minded people like you to get educated and push the ball further. So grab an opportunity and get involved. Climate change, green energy, blockchain, AI development, and so on. All of these industries need leaders and innovators. For your long-term time investment strategy, we will focus on memories. Long-term means 10 years plus. When you're old, the only valuable thing you'll have with you is your family and the memories that you've made along the way. Now remember that your work is just something that you do alongside other things. Don't let it define you and eat up all of your time. When you get the chance to do something memorable, always take it. Think of it as an investment in your memory portfolio. Memories are inflation proof and nobody can take them away from you. They also provide dividends like any other good investment. Every time you remember a good moment from your life, you get paid in happy dividends. Think back to the moments you're most proud of. You can feel your happiness bank filling up, so it only makes sense to expand your memory portfolio. See the Northern Lights, go to Burning Man, party on a yacht, rent a Lamborghini. There are so many ways to invest in the memory portfolio, so don't cheap out on it. And for those of you watching until the very end, we of course have a bonus for you. For some reason, YouTube decided to bury one of our videos we published this week. Hey, we guess they don't want you to get educated. It's a really important video, but it got hidden from most of you. It's called 15 Ways the Rich Educate Their Kids, and if you haven't watched it yet, we definitely recommend you do. And as always, we hope you learned something valuable here today, Aluxers. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time with us today, Alex. We're so glad you did. If you enjoyed this one, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey, don't forget to subscribe.